Online education applies computing technology to learning. And there are several things that we can do by applying technology that we could not do in classrooms before, thereby improving the whole learning experience. In a traditional classroom, students may sit through a one-hour lecture. With online, we replace lectures with learning sequences. Let me collect the knowns on the right-hand side. Students watch a five, seven-minute video, and then they do an interactive exercise. And they do a video again, do an exercise. So this way, it's active learning where students are engaging with the material as they go along. We can use computer technology to do the grading. And that allows us to give instant feedback to the students. And it's been known in the literature and learning science that instant feedback can be a good thing. Mastery-based learning is a good thing where you keep trying something till you get it right. We can give students virtually infinite tries. They can keep trying and trying and trying till they get something right. And then they can move on to the next topic. With online learning, uh, we are very used to uh, hitting pause, rewind. In fact, our learners are telling us that with some of the videos, they are able to rewind multiple times. Many students mute the video, read the transcript, and watch the video at 1.5 times the speed. We're going to settle down and really talk about biochemistry, the macromolecules of the cell. And this enables much more of a self-paced, a flexible style of learning. We can be much more engaging to the student. We bring in game-like experiences in online learning. So as an example, on the edX platform, we have many online simulation-based laboratories. So here, students can build things with Lego-like facility. And by doing that, they get engaged. They get gamification to the picture. They can keep trying and trying with various kinds of components online. And the gamification can be very engaging for students through these online labs. And finally, peer learning. On our discussion forum, students are asking questions and working with each other, answering each other's questions. And oftentimes, by working together and answering questions and learning from each other, that peer style of learning can be much more engaging and many students learn by teaching. So these are some examples of how online learning can really help students learn better than a traditional method.